Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm a full-time reseller and I go to the Goodwill bins to find items to flip online for a profit on places like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. Today I'm going to be doing a video going over my 10 fastest sales of January. So a lot of times you will see resellers talking about their highest dollar sales, what's sold for the most in a certain month. I'm pretty sure all of us are feeling the effects of the slow sales right now. Like January, February, the beginning of the year is usually one of the slowest times of the year for me personally. And I know it's the same for a lot of other resellers. So I figured it would be a good idea to go over some fast selling items because while, you know, having things sell for a lot of money is great. Sometimes those items can sit for like months and months or a year or even more before they sell. So even though they're selling for that higher dollar amount, it could take a long time to even have that item out of your door. And my personal business model is to have items in and out of my store within three months. So I like to focus on those high sell through rate items. So a high sell through rate means that there's just as many listed as there are sold. So for example, if you go to eBay, that's where I personally check sell through rate can't really check it on any other websites or platforms. But if you go, you find an item, you type in what you're looking for, you see how many are currently available that item. And then you go to the sold and you see how many are currently sold in that item. I also filter by condition. So most of my items are pre-owned. I filter by pre-owned and see how many are listed versus how many are sold. And if the number listed is a lot more than the amount sold, that means that has a low sell through rate. And I try to stay away from those items. So sorry for the long intro, but I just wanted to kind of explain why I'm going over my 10 fastest sales and not my 10 biggest sales of January. So let's just jump right into it. So all of these sales are actually on eBay, which is funny. I didn't even try that. I didn't even notice that they were all EB sales until I was at the very end of making my list. But that just goes to show you, first of all, eBay is my number one platform. So if you aren't listing on eBay, you're definitely missing out. I get the most traction on eBay, the most sales on eBay, a lot of quick flips on eBay, obviously. So yeah, this first sale we're going to talk about is a vintage walls blizzard proof men's coveralls. Now I have talked about this several times, but anytime I find coveralls that are in decent condition like this, and it's the fall and winter time, I always pick them up. They never sit in my store. They always fly off the shelf. And this is a great example of that. So I actually accepted a lower offer on this, but these sold for $28. I had these listed on January 2nd and they sold just three days later on January 5th. Normally I can get between $40 and $50 for these types of pieces. But like I said, I like having things in and out of my store really fast. So if somebody sends me an offer and I'm still going to make a profit, I'm most likely going to accept that offer, especially during these slow times. So I accepted the $28 offer, had it listed for three days. My cost of goods was only $1.84 from the bins. So my net profit was $15.40 in just three days. The second sale is this vintage Polo by Ralph Lauren red sweater. Now the buyer on this actually bought two different Ralph Lauren sweaters. The one we're talking about was listed literally the same day it sold. So the bundle of the two sweaters sold for $44.98. So for this red sweater that we're talking about, my net profit after my $1.28 cost of goods was $18.53. I love picking up Ralph Lauren, any of the Ralph Lauren lines, especially if they're vintage. Pretty sure this was like a wool blend sweater, which definitely helped it. It was cable knit. So yeah, I love picking up this brand. This is a great bread and butter brand for me. And it never seems to fail me in men's or women's. So the next piece we're going to be talking about is a, the brand was Live a Little. It was a suede full zip jacket. I actually found four of these exact pieces. All were a size extra large except for one was a size large in all different colors. So I found this blue one that sold. I found a red one. I found an olive green one. And then I found a more dark like forest green one. Like I said, all by the same brand, found them all in the same bin, all the same day at the Goodwill outlet. This buyer got a really good deal. So I am like always having a sale running on eBay. During this time when this sold, I'm pretty sure I was having a 35% off sale because 
my sales were so slow. Currently I'm having 25% off my entire eBay store, but so the buyer got this for 35% off. I originally had these listed for 25 or $28. I can't remember. The buyer paid $16 and 78 cents plus shipping. This did sell within just 10 days. I listed this on December 28th and it sold on January 8th. So again, within just 10 days, my cost of goods was only $1.28 and my net profit was $10.67. This next thing was probably one of my favorite sales of the entire month. This sold just five days after listing it. If you watched my video where I went thrifting at the beginning of January and I actually used a gift card that my brother had given me for Christmas. There's actually like $20 left on that gift card, but I picked these up during that video. So I had $0 cost of goods into them. This is definitely a Bolo brand. You want to be on the lookout for this. The brand is Premiata. I'm not exactly sure how to say that, but this is a suede sneaker. I had like this graphic art print on the side. I originally had these listed, I believe for like 125, maybe 150. Buyer sent me an $80 offer within just five days of listing them, which I gladly accepted because again, I had $0 into these. So I listed these on January 6th and they sold on January 11th. After, you know, eBay fees, my net profit on those were $70.99. Now those are the kinds of profits that I love. I love any kinds of profits, really. But if I can have a net profit over $50, that's just like chef's kiss. But I usually don't sell pieces for that much. So the fifth sale we're going to be talking about sold within just four days. I picked this up at that same thrift store that I picked the last shoes up at with the gift card. So I paid zero dollars for this. This is in rose and olive floral popover blouse. This was new in tags. It also had a Marshall's tag on it, which tells me that somebody got it at Marshall's. It was a bigger size. It was a 1X or a 2X, which is why I picked it up. Um, I did cut off the Marshall's tag, but it also had the brand tag on it. So new tags. I had this listed for $24. I sent the buyer a $20 offer on eBay and they accepted. I listed these on January 7th and they sold on January 11th. So since I had $0 into them after my eBay fees, my net profit on that blouse was $17.52, which is wild. Rose and Olive is not normally a brand that I would pick up. But plus size pieces in a lot of brands can do well. And this is just proof. Now, of course, this was new with tags, so that definitely helps. But that piece definitely shocked me. I did not think it was going to sell that fast. So this next piece actually, again, came from that same thrift store that I had $0 cost of goods into this. This was a pair of Donald J. Pliner Malta heeled ankle booties. Now these actually had flaws in them. On both of the heels and both the shoes, there was kind of like scuffing on the backside. There was kind of chunks missing out of it, like chunks. So I listed these on the lower end of comps. Comps were around $30 to $35. I listed these at $25, so a lot lower than comps, like I said. I think that's why they sold so quickly. But I listed these on January 6th. They sold on January 15th, so just a week later. After eBay fees, my net profit was $16.29. So for something that I paid $0 for, $16 net profit is not bad. This next thing is a definite Bolo brand. This jacket I did show in a Goodwill Bins haul, but when I showed it in the haul, I actually didn't realize that it was a Bolo. I didn't even realize what brand it was, nothing. It wasn't until after the haul when I was inventorying the items and going to start my drafts, I realized, oh my goodness, this is a Bolo and these pieces can sell really great. So the brand is Miko Mints. This was a reversible quilted jacket, lightweight, super cute, super boho, artsy. I absolutely love this piece. But when I looked up comps, I'm like, yeah, there's no way I'm keeping that. So I originally had this listed for $250, which is where comps showed. I only paid $1.28 for this at the bins and I listed it on January 4th. It sold just 13 days later on eBay. On January 17th, the buyer sent me a $178 offer, which I gladly accepted. I rarely sell items for over $100. So as soon as that notification popped up on my phone, I swear I hit accept 
so fast. I was so excited. I even posted on my Instagram a story about it because I was so excited. If you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely do. I'm really active over there. I try to post every single day on my story and I post reels every single day. So that's linked down below if you want to check it out. But this Miko Mints jacket, since I only had $1.28 into it, after eBay fees and my cost of goods, my net profit for that piece was $154.89. So you guys, if you ever see this logo, run, grab it. You can even pay up for it. Like I said, these pieces sell clearly over $100, but a lot of these are comping between two to $300 depending on the piece just mind-blowing so this next piece is again a Ralph Lauren piece this is a women's Lauren Ralph Lauren vintage like Y2K era velvet button-up like bomber jacket kind of a mix between like a sweatshirt and a jacket kind of like a track jacket it was olive green it was like a size 1x or a 2x I only had 88 cents into this this sold for $32.64 this sold within just 40 so I listed this on January 16th and it sold on January 20th. I only had 88 cents into this. Can't remember if I said that. So my net profit after eBay fees and cost of goods was $28.90. So we have two more pieces left. This next piece sold within just two hours of me listing it. Again, this is a pair of coveralls. I'm telling you guys, I cannot preach it enough. And I did not really realize it until this year how well coveralls do so these were a pair of redhead camo these were like scent proof or scent hide was the name camo hunting coveralls men's extra large these sold within just two hours like i said i originally had these listed for 55 dollars. i sent the buyer a 44 dollar and 94 cent offer which they accepted that's about 18 percent off whenever somebody watches my item on eBay I send them an 18% off offer so that's what I did here and they accepted it they also pay shipping I don't know if I mentioned in this video yet but I have all my buyers pay shipping on every platform but these sold again for $44.94 I listed these on January 24th and they sold on January 24th so my Oh, I don't think I said my cost of goods was only $1.82 for these from the bins. So my net profit was $30.19. And we have one more piece to go over, which sold just last week on January 31st. This was a same day sale. Once again, I'm sorry, not same day. It sold within 24 hours, but I listed it on January 30th. It sold on January 31st. This was an urban equipment leather jacket i did show this in my last bins haul i don't think it was my last bins haul two bins hauls ago i showed this jacket and so funny i mentioned mentioned it in the video but i forgot but this jacket was actually a throwback from somebody else so i saw somebody have this jacket in their cart they were looking at it and then later on a couple minutes later when i was just browsing the bins i saw it sitting in one of the bins and i'm like Okay, I can't tell you how many times I find items that people throw back that just are such fast sellers for me. So I grabbed it, kind of inspected it. I'm like, is there anything wrong with this? Like, why did this person throw it back? I thought it was really cool. It was obviously worn. It had some spots on the front, had some signs of wear on the leather, but it was really cool. And I feel like the wear gave it more character. Also, it had a really unique map print lining which I thought was really unique. And I made sure to show that in my cover photo as well. So anyways, this sold for my full asking price of $59.81 plus shipping. My cost of goods was only $1.44 into this. This was literally from my bins trip last week. I wish every item could go out of my store this quickly. But after eBay fees and my cost of goods, I made $47.02 on that. So that is all the sales that I have to go over today. This is just a reminder, slow sales are not forever. I'm reminding myself as well because I know it's hard to not feel down and to feel unmotivated when sales are slow. Like for me, this past week was just dreadful. Jasper literally just bolted from the other room. What's wrong, Bobby? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello, Bobby. Okay. Oh. Okay, well, I was trying to pick him up so he could say hello, but he was not having that. <laughs> so anyways, I forget where I left off. 
But during these slow times, you know, it's important to look for and be more aware of what is selling fast. So I hope this video is helpful. Here's to more sales in February. Here's to better sales in February. Spring is coming. Summer is coming. And tax time is coming. Tax time is here, but people are about to get their taxes. People are about to start spending more money. Don't you worry. Sales are going to happen. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great week so far. This should be going out Wednesday, I believe. So I hope you're having a great week so far. And I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.